A ah, couple of, uh, I don't know if you call them questions or suggestions uh, from um, Pack Jag. It says, Skip, do you consider insulation baths or rolls instead of the blow-in insulation for your attic? Yes, I have. Um, it would be much easier controlling a blockage of the roof vents in the eaves, but they might be a problem getting it under the installed attic flooring. And I know that was a consideration, getting it under the flooring. I don't want to tear the flooring out. It'd be different if they used like drywall screws to hold the flooring in. It, it'd be kind of a simple process of unscrewing it and raising it up and screwing it back down. They didn't. They used the uh, air nails. I don't know if you know anything about the nails that they use in air guns, but they're coated with, um, I forget what they call it, it's just a blue coating. And, and when they shoot them nails in the, in the tube before, tube of six, wherever they're shooting it, that instantaneously dissolves. There's a heat, there's a friction that, that from shooting that nail in there, and it dissolves. And it uh, basically, for the lack of a better term, it uh, adheres to the wood that blue coating on that nail and uh, pulling it out is uh, very difficult very difficult um, so I've decided that I'm not going to go that route I have considered though and here's what a lot of contractors do here as far as insulating the attics and keeping the heats down there's all kinds of stuff that they sell here um, solar fans I've considered that it's a fan that goes in the attic. It's like in your bathroom. It sucks the air up. So in other words, they're going to go on the roof. They're going to cut a hole. They're going to put this solar fan in, and it operates totally on sunlight. And uh, it uh, sucks the air through. It just keeps the air moving. It comes in from the side vents, and it just forces that air up and out of the attic. And they say that those help a lot. In my mind, it just tells me it's just going to um, at least keep the attic temperature hopefully down to the temperature of whatever it is outside so if it's 100 degrees outside your attic temperature will be brought down to 100 degrees that sounds like a lot but in the winter or summertime here i'll bet our attic i have never stuck a thermometer up there i don't know but if, if it was 150 degrees up there um, that wouldn't surprise me a bit it is super hot up there but here's what a lot of contractors do here they use reflective shield kind of like bubble wrap and they put it they go inside your attic and they literally coat everything that has anything to do with the roof they'll go over the beams they, they staple it or glue it I don't know over the plywood uh, anywhere where there's asphalt shingles attached underneath of that plywood right there or or the tube of sixes or whatever the beams they cover it with this reflective like bubble wrap and um, I've been into a couple friends houses that's had that done by the way it's not cheap you can imagine the labor cost it isn't the material cost it's the labor cost of getting up there crawling around in 150 degree heat it's one of them jobs that I'm sure that most of the contractors would much rather do in the winter months they don't want to do it at all in the summer months, but they don't really have control of that. They have to do what they got to do. So it's a young man's job. So it's it's not it's not cheap. But the two houses that I've been into, I've walked in their garage on a on a 90 or 100 degree day, and I was just amazed of the difference of their garage temperature. Just that. Uh, in other words, they, they did not have any insulation blown above the garage uh, ceiling in the attic. They had this reflective bubble wrap stuff put all through their attic. And that's all they had. And that seemed to be, well, of course, they did the garage door, had the garage door insulated. But then that seemed to be totally enough. But like I said, it's not cheap. I'm looking for a more inexpensive way of doing it. And I'm also looking for a way that I can do it myself. I mean, I've got time. I'm still fairly healthy. For how much longer, who knows, right? We're all getting older. 
but I can still do some things. It just takes me longer to get it done. For example, doing the garage door. I probably could have got this done in one day, but it actually took me three because I just don't get in a hurry. First of all, I don't even start to go do any work around here until after lunch. So if I get up at eight o'clock in the morning, it's going to be one o'clock before I start working anywhere, doing anything. So there's half a day shot right there. And uh, so, you know, it's, uh, it took me a while, but I got it done. Could I have done it in one day? Absolutely. I just have to get motivated to get up at 8 o'clock by 8.30, be out there, start working on this thing, and be done by 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. It's hot, it's, it's sweaty, you know, but you just, you just work through it. And um, I just don't, I'm just not really good at doing that anymore. I used to do it, but I don't do it much anymore. I take my time, so it takes a while. So I was thinking about the blow-in insulation because it's something I can do. It's something that doesn't take, uh, what I'll say, uh, a, a tremendous effort, I don't think, to crawl up there and basically kind of stand in a, a eight foot by eight foot square area moving this hose around. I think, cause I think these, these will blow it out quite a ways if I wanted to and just fill it up. Uh, I just need to have somebody downstairs to keep dumping them bags of insulation into the machine or if I have to do it by myself that could slow the process down quite a bit but uh, I'm, I'm working on that because I think I can do it the only thing is there's a product and I, don't, I forget what it's called it's for it's basically to uh, protect the outside air vents from being clogged it's a plastic piece that uh, if I remember right it goes in between the rafters. They're made exactly for 24 center, I think. And they go in between the rafters and they slide down all the way to the air vent. Maybe they go right on the edge of the rafter. But anyway, they slide all the way down to the air vent and actually touch it. And then you just staple it or screw it on the sides to hold it there. They're approximately two to three feet long, I think. And uh, you put them all along the edge of the house. Then you can blow all the insulation you want in there because from the air vent on the outside of the house, it's protected with this plastic vent and the air flows up on the, between the roof and this vent and all the insulation is on the outside of this vent. So I'm considering that, but that's, you can see what I'm getting at. That's gonna be a lot of extra work of going to each rafter all the way around the garage. For me, I'll have to probably get on my back in a lot of places maybe and, and kind of slide around nailing these things on or screwing them on. So it's just, I gotta think about this. I always try to figure out a way I can do it without asking for help. Cause I'm one of them guys, I don't like to ask for help. I like to figure out a way of doing it on my own. So, but thanks for the suggestion because I have considered everything and I haven't decided on anything yet. Uh, just a little comment from a guy named Ron. And so he likes the uh, golf cart uh, ride videos. I do them off and on. I'm, I'm always afraid on them golf cart rides that people are just going to get bored with them. You know, I try to, try to step it up a little bit once in a while. Uh, I got some videos coming out that I'm working on. I've already cut the video. I just have to edit them. You know, my favorite thing, editing. Uh, but I'm having to do more and more of that because of the home tours. There's things that get said. Something happens. People walk through. And so I have to edit things out. That uh, house, that expandable, what is it, Fox something house up there next to uh, Lake Sumter. Location, 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 people. People's going to ask me, why does that house cost so much? That's all I can tell you. Location, location, location here. You're going to find in the villages, when it comes to the price of homes, the price of property, what you can sell it for, or what you have to buy it for, it's all about location here. More here, probably, than any place I've ever lived. Uh, the difference of where I'm at, right here, and my neighbor right next door he's got the corner lot I don't have a corner lot which means I'm restricted on how much building could be done here and on my house really virtually uh, other than a small little area maybe on, on that side and then a small area on the other side of my house 
and basically what that would be for would be for Lanai, Lanai expansion more than anything. I have no building here. You're not going to be able to put in a swimming pool here or nothing like that. He's got a corner lot. My house today is probably worth around 289 with all the upgrades. I'm just guessing. I don't know anything. I'm just saying 289. House next door, corner lot. Virtually the same kind of house. Layout's a little different inside, but virtually the same kind of house. And his house is worth over three, well over three. 315, 310. And, he's, and the new owners has, has already put a bunch of add-ons. So as of right now, it's probably worth whatever people pay for it, really. But I don't know, well over three. That's the difference. So that house up there is a beautiful home. I went through it. Beautiful home. A lot of upgrades. Uh, the, it's a location there more than anything. You can literally walk out the front door. And within a probably, I'm going to say, maybe a, a five-minute walk, if that. You're going to be at the uh, hotel right there, the Waterfront Inn Hotel parking lot. That's where you're going to be. Once you walk through their parking lot, which, you know, how long is that? You just walk through the sidewalk on the other end, and then you're going to be virtually downtown Lake Sumter. You're going to come into Cody's, and you're going to come into Gators, and then, you know, you're there. So, yeah, that's uh, the location there, man. That's what that, that place is all about. Now, will she get the price she's asking for? I don't know that. It all depends on what you're looking for. Everybody's looking for something different. But I will tell you that looking around there, there is very, there's a handful of homes that are on the lake right there and that you can walk to Lake Sumter. There's other homes there. Creekside Landing is one of them. You can buy courtyard villas there and you can walk to downtown Lake Sumter. But they're not on a lake. And even in there, you're going to have some that's on a corner lot. You're going to have some that's not on interior lot. Some is going to be next to the pool area, which a lot of people like that. A lot of people don't. I'm one of them that don't. I don't want to be next door to a pool area. I don't want to be next door to a recreational center. I, that's just me. But some people love that. They love to be able to walk out their front door and walk straight to a swimming pool right there. And that's cool. But you're going to pay a price for that. Another guy wanted me to cut a video. Well, I'm not going to do it on this one. He wants me to cut a video on everything, and I don't know if I can list everything. Well, there's not that many, really, that I dislike about the villages. I'd really like to cut this video with Sue because she might have a whole different perspective than me. She, information I got. I'm going to close this, video, uh, this here out with this. Whoops. I bumped the camera. I got this camera sitting kind of willy-nilly here. I don't have my tripod. Sue told me the other day, she read in the paper, it was publicized, I didn't see it, I can't confirm it in a newspaper or I'd read it to you, but I have no reason to doubt my wife at all, because she's the one that pays the bills here, that it was publicized in a paper, Sumter County, now remember we're three counties big, we're Lake County, Marion County, Sumter County, Sumter County is the largest uh, part of the villages, Sumter County has posted uh, in the paper or the paper posted something that Sumter County has approved they're going to raise property taxes by 25 percent holy crap I just think that is I just think that's outrageous something you should know so Sumter County put it on your calendar 25 percent property tax increase that's the word I got I haven't substantiated it but I'll do my best. Just passing the word along. See you all on the other side.